Are you thinking about cataract surgery or just had it done? The idea of seeing perfectly and ditching your glasses is really appealing. But there's a common problem that people whisper about in online forums and chat groups. A problem that can be incredibly frustrating. What is this problem? It's debilitating glare and halos, especially at night. It's blurry vision that even a brand new pair of glasses can't fix. What's worse, many surgeons tell patients that all is well and to just wait and that your brain will get used to it. So is this likely to happen to you? Can you avoid it before the surgery? And if it did happen to you, what can you do about it? Hi, I'm Dr. Ilan Cohen, a board certified cataract and premium lens surgeon with 25 years of experience and tens of thousands of surgeries. Since April 2023, I've been using a unique solution that fixes this issue for the right patients without exchanging the lens. Today, I'll explain what causes the problem, how we test for the real source of it, and I'll share the story of a patient who flew in from out of state to see me and got his nightlife back. Now, glare and halos can happen with any type of lens implant, but it's more common with multifocal lenses. These are the advanced technology lenses designed to help you see both near and far without glasses. In many cases, Patients don't just see starbursts around lights. They also complain that their vision is just generally off or unclear. So let me tell you about this patient of mine. A 65-year-old gentleman who flew in to see me from another state. About a year before I met him, he had cataract surgery with a multifocal lens placed in one of his eyes. His experience was far from what he had hoped for. He described severe glare and halos around lights, so intense that he had completely given up driving at night. It was a huge blow to his independence. But it wasn't just the night. He said that his vision during the day was just generally unclear. In fact, he said that his other eye, the one that still had a cataract, actually had a better quality of vision than his supposedly fixed eye. When we checked his vision, he was seeing 2040 in that eye, and no matter what we did with glasses, it would not get any better. He was stuck. His original surgeon just told him to wait for it to improve. He sought a second opinion, and that surgeon recommended a lens exchange, a whole other surgery to remove the multifocal lens and replace it. But he was told that he would completely lose his near vision in that eye. And this patient didn't want to be dependent on reading glasses. The first thing that I usually do in such cases is look for common issues like dry eyes and retinal issues. But he had already tried everything for a dry eye from artificial tears to medicated drops with no relief. We did a scan of the back of his eye and his macula was perfectly healthy. So we decided to try something different. We performed what's called a heart contact lens test. We placed a special rigid contact lens on the surface of his eye. This lens has a perfectly smooth, uniform front surface. And suddenly his vision improved significantly. That was the sign that the problem is related to the cornea. The cornea is the clear dome in front of the eye. The very first lens that the light hits as it enters the eye. For clear vision, both the cornea and the lens implant inside the eye need to function properly. The problem wasn't necessarily the multifocal lens inside the eye. The problem was the combination of that lens with the microscopic imperfections on the surface of the cornea, the front window to his eye. The multifocal lens was magnifying these tiny irregularities and splitting light in a way that caused all his symptoms. The smooth surface of the heart contact lens acted as a mask, proving that if we could fix the surface of the eye, we could fix his vision. Instead of exchanging the multifocal lens, we planned a topography-guided laser treatment to smoothen the cornea. 
In his case, we chose topography guided PRK, a surface laser procedure. So what exactly is topography guided and why does it help? Topography is a detailed map of the cornea, like a 3D terrain map showing tiny hills and valleys. Those small bumps and dips bend light in messy ways and can create glare halos and blur that glasses cannot fix. A topography guided laser uses that map to gently reshape and smoothen the surface so light focuses cleanly again. Both topo guided PRK and topo guided LASIK can accomplish this smoothing. The goal is the same, a smoother optical surface for a better vision. And the result? His vision improved from an uncorrectable 2040 to a perfect 2020. The glare and halos that kept him from driving at night were gone. He was finally able to enjoy the full benefit of his multifocal lens, seen clearly at all distances without the frustrating side effects. He was thrilled. What pushed me to adopt this approach? This 2020 peer-reviewed study by Harvard doctors published in Nature looked at 28 patients who had multifocal lens implant but were unhappy due to visual quality problems. The surgeons used toboguided LASIK to reduce those tiny corneal irregularities. After treatment, most patients improved in sharpness of vision and measurements of the eye's optical roughness went down. Changes that line up with fewer halos and cleaner focus. That paper showed a logical path. If the cornea is the culprit, map it and smoothen it rather than swapping the lens. So why are multifocal lenses more sensitive to these imperfections? A multifocal lens splits incoming light to give you distance and near focus at the same time. Because the light is divided, the system is less forgiving of rough spots on the cornea. These are known as higher order aberrations, which are tiny optical distortions beyond simple nearsightedness or astigmatism. They can cause glare halos or hazy vision. Smoothing the surface reduces those distortions to relieve the symptoms. Now, you might be relieved to know that in case of a problem, there is a potential fix after cataract surgery. But what if you're planning to have cataract surgery soon? How do you minimize the chance of such issues? First, make sure to discuss all eye health concerns and potential issues that could affect multifocal lens functions thoroughly with your surgeon. If you had LASIK or PRK in the past, you are more likely to experience these issues. Ask your surgeon about this. A skilled premium lens surgeon will offer guidance and address concern. Thorough exploration of issues related to dry eyes, the cornea, and the retina, along with proper scans, should be completed. When choosing a surgeon, it's important to find a premium lens specialist who can match the best lens type to your unique eyes. A premium lens specialist is typically someone who performs a high volume of multifocal and other premium lens procedures, generally exceeding 60% of their cases. My promise to you, I'll keep tracking the practical data, especially night driving symptoms, stability and spectacle independence, and update you on the newest technologies available to improve your vision. If you want to learn more about the type of lenses that are available and which lenses are the least likely to cause such problems, watch this next video.